We usually play a clip from Virgin Sport of a Champions League evening. So Brian Kerr is on, interestingly, talking about all this. He's given his reaction to the appointment of making Stephen Kenny as successive uh, managers. And here we'll have a listen to what Brian Kerr uh, makes of it. I haven't heard what he's had to say about it. Brian Nulls has been surprised that Mick accepted these circumstances, the almost glass ceiling. What, what's your view? I, I think it's a kind of a bizarre arrangement. I've never come across the likes of it in football before. We, we, we something going on in rugby, but that was m much different, much more obvious thing because the discussions about whether Joe Smith was going to stay or not have been going on for a long time. Um, this situation, it almost look, looks like as if the FAI are saying, Mick, we, we think you're the right man for the job for a while but we're not giving it to you for any longer than two years. You're no good after two years, you're out. But we know a bloke that we think will be good in two years' time if we tell him he's getting it now and we give him a bit of practice at another level. That's not quite the same as a good bit different from what he's been doing before, but we, we're, we're kind of sure that he's the right man in a while's time, in two years down the road. It's a most bizarre arrangement. I'm happy for both of them. I know Stephen very well since he was a, a, a young lad and I signed him for St. Pat's. I'm delighted with his progress. I actually predicted the day would come he, when he'd be the Ireland manager in an article for the Irish Independent two years ago. And um, I'm, I'm surprised it's come as quickly um, that they've made this arrangement. But for both of them, they've got to be very happy. And it could work out very well, although I think it's, I do think it's a bizarre way it's fallen. Mick was here with us um, last Monday and Tuesday. I remember joking with him on Monday and saying, the way this is going for Martin, he could be in here with us in a few weeks' time <laughs> and the three ex-managers could be sitting <laughs> together. But I knew he was up there as one of the favourites for it, but I didn't think it was going to be happening that quickly. And he had a good laugh about that on Monday night yeah. and he was here on Tuesday too. Uh, so that was Kerr on Virgin Media Sport, which is the new home of European football in Ireland. More than 400 Champions League, Europa League, Nations League games live this season. Virgin Media Sport, exclusive to all Virgin Media TV customers. And you can also download the TV anywhere app and stream all the action whenever and wherever they like. So to sum up where we are, I am still slightly curious about the motivation for the decision. And I don't uh, like it. I'm suspicious of it. Uh, whereas you're saying, well, build a bridge and get over that. Yeah. We are where we are, and you think it could still work, even if the re rationale behind the decision-making yeah. was a bit suspicious. Well, Brian pretty much said the same at the moment. We've got a lot of time for yeah. Brian. I agree with a lot of uh, uh, what he says, but at the end of it, it was interesting, at the end he said, it, it is unusual. I'm not saying it's not, it's not unusual. We've seen people from an existing um, a management structure step up to be to be the next manager. We've seen an under-21 manager step up and be the next in international manager, but not quite this scenario so it is unusual in that respect it's the locked but in it can work. Yeah, yeah but it can work and Brian alluded to it there it's something which can work when you've got uh, people for me with the skills get uh, it's skill sets yeah. and as talented as, as these as these two there's a strong argument there for saying that it will work as long as both people and, and Mick in particular in terms of his, his genuine his commitment uh, to the agreement as it is and I'll take Mick I'll just take Mick at his word yeah. it's as simple as that when he comes out publicly and says yes I've signed the agreement uh, I'm happy with it. I'll be stepping down regardless of the uh, how successful uh, that we are. And, and Mick will be walking like a demon behind the scenes to walk away uh, from this position uh, with the team doing well and yeah, everything the good. Team no, got, no and, doubt and, and, leave, yet, yeah. and leaving the team in a better position uh, than when he forced when he when he when he first stepped in. We all want the same thing. Mick, Steve, us in this room, all the supporters. We want to see an uptown, we want to see an improvement mm -hmm. and us play to the best of our ability and back a little bit to that kind of the bit that a Cavaliers style of play, kind of high energy uh, game that, that, that we've seen in previous Ireland teams. I think we're capable of that and hopefully uh, Mick and ultimately Steve when he uh, steps in will tap into that.